Hey there, welcome back to the channel. This video is gonna be a little bit different, but kind of the same. No, I'm just kidding, it is actually quite a bit different. I'm gonna be kind of responding to Leonard Lee's recent video about why he uses kilometers instead of miles when talking about cycling. For me, the story goes back to when I was about 20 years old. Right out of high school, I started a job at a factory, actually a gun factory called uh, Keltec. There, the owner was a man from Sweden, and so when he came from Sweden to America, he also brought with him uh, metric engineering. So when I started working there as a machine operator at this factory, I was uh, working in millimeters, very small parts, you know, very small manufactured parts on mills and lathes and stuff like that. And there, of course, in the millimeters is how we would measure everything. So that was my start in metric. So a part could be plus or one, plus or minus 0.1 millimeters or plus or minus 0.05 millimeters. So all day as I was working on these machines, operating these machines, programming these machines, I was thinking in millimeters and metric. That got me started. I stayed at that company for, you know, over five, six years, almost six years. And uh, so I got very familiar and very comfortable with metric. I forgot about metric for a while after until uh, 2011 when I moved to Switzerland. Of course, that being a European country, it was all metric. And prior to that, I hadn't been involved in cycling except for when I was a kid. So when I got to Switzerland and everybody was riding bikes, like a lot of people were riding bikes, I also jumped into the hobby. So of course, when I talked to any friends or anybody else, it was always about how many kilometers did you ride today? You know, how many kilometers an hour can you maintain? And this and that, how many meters did you go up the mountain? Or how many meters did you climb today? Or, wie viele Meter hast du gemacht? Hmm? Hmm? 5,000 meter? So uh, for me, I connected cycling and metric together. And I also wouldn't, as, as Leonard says, I wouldn't suggest uh, changing all the signs immediately, but I do believe that metric is probably a more logical and, and better unit. And so if I can suggest to people, maybe try to use it when you get a chance. So I also can kind of get an idea about standard two. Obviously I know if you're going 22 uh, miles an hour or whatever, I know what that means just from driving a car. I know the speed limit is 25 miles an hour, so I'm pretty used to, to those speeds as well. Um, if you tell me you went 50 miles, that's slightly confusing to me when I think about a bike, but then I just do the math and I go, okay, that's so many kilometers. So uh, I can work in, in standard, but I guess when I think about it, I prefer metric for cycling. On the other hand, oddly for driving, I'm, I guess I drove more years in America than I did in, in Europe. Uh, to me, um, miles an hour and miles works better for cars, oddly enough. It's a little bit harder for me to think about um, what they do in Europe, which is liters per 100 kilometers. It's a different way of thinking about it. How many liters does it take you to get 100 kilometers, not how many miles you can go in one gallon. It's like the reverse, right? So, um, yeah, like maybe seven liters per 100 kilometers. I, I don't even know what the equivalent is. When it comes to temperature, uh, I do prefer actually Celsius on that. I just think it makes a lot more sense. You know, zero is freezing and 100 is boiling. Um, that I, I tend to go for, for Celsius, but that might just be because I'm a little bit stubborn. I got used to it and I don't really feel like going back to Fahrenheit. Of course I know Fahrenheit and for those temperatures, I can, I pretty much know most of the conversions on my head, like um, 50 degrees is about 10 degrees Celsius and, and uh, 30, I guess is I don't know, 90 something. I don't know, actually 92. <laughs> I'll probably be wrong, but any case, um, I don't think I have anything else to say on the topic. I guess what I, what I could say at the end of it is I'm more for metric uh, overall, but if you want to use standard, I won't hold it against you. So anyway, that's all for this short video. Thanks everybody for watching and uh, have a great rest of your day. Bye.